So I just walked up to uh, Michael Vickman Sunna and I said, I have never seen a Braille printer, and he represents Index Braille, and you said this is the one to see, right? Yeah, for sure. I'm glad you, glad you stopped by here, since uh, we've been coming a long way, starting our journey from way up northern parts of Sweden, close to the Arctic Circle, where we are building uh, these kind of Braille embosses for 42 years now, nearly 43 so Braille is little dots that stick up, and so embossing yeah. is what you, what these printers do. Yes, we actually produce the, the embossers, and with the embossers you can print your Braille documents. So for, for the for the listening audience, he's holding up what looks like a blank sheet of paper, yeah. but if you look closely, it's got little dots all over it. I yeah. saw I saw that at lunch. Somebody read a Braille menu. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. This is actually one of those Braille manuals. And we print interpoint, that means it's printed double-sided, so we actually print on both sides of the paper. Oh, that's crazy! Yeah, yeah. Oh. and we do that at the same time. So this document is printed like uh, we have uh, shipped the file over to the embosser, which prints the uh, document, and you just bring it out, you staple it, and you get a folding line in the center of the paper, you just fold it, and voila, you got a braille book. Now it's not printing the same thing on both sides. You've got to be it, it gaps in, in yeah. opposite places. It's all right? calculated in a very very smart way. We can also print like business cards with this machine. Okay. And these sheets are printed with this embosser, which is the Index Everest D V5. Okay, so the Index Everest V5 I'm looking at standing, well, it sort of looks like a printer stood up on end. Yeah. So the paper's going in the top yeah, and it's sure. got all, it's got braille buttons. Yeah, it's got also speech feedback and it can talk to multiple languages, like 16 different languages and so on. So this one, uh, what differs all the models is that this one, which prints uh, on sheet paper, uh, prints about 300 pages an hour. And if you look at the smaller one, it's the same speed, but the smaller one, which is called Basic D V5, prints on continuous paper, tractor-fed paper. So that's that's one of the big differences. So this between. is if you want to print something a lot larger, you would print it on the basic. Longer, longer, and and if you need the the stability of printing like a whole box of paper, you can put it in here and let it run. This sheet fe feeder holds about approximately 100 pages, okay. something like that. Then you have to fill it again. Okay. So basic is not that basic. That's actually the no. fancier one. All of our embossers are quite advanced, actually. <laughs> basic is an old name, started back in the early 80s, okay. which have been refined through the years and now looks like this. Okay, now we've got something that looks like a 3D printer. This yeah. thing is massive. This, this looks one. bigger than the Exo Brew we saw at uh, yeah. CES. This one is actually one of the, the we got two bigger production machines. Uh, this is the, the one of them. It's called the Braille Box. And um, as the name says, it it actually looks like a look like a box. And it's the same technique in all of these. The big difference is that this this one prints also on, on cut sheet paper, but it three times faster. So this one prints 900 pages an hour. So this is if you're like a book printer, yeah. you would buy something yeah. this huge, for right? For large scale production for is books. Is there any way for us to see what it looks like inside? What what's pressing the the doing the embossing? We can have a yeah, we can do that. We can have a look at at uh, one, of, one of these. Yeah. Do I'm just curious that? what make. What makes those little dots yep. stand up is going to be the we, question. We can send, this is actually an acoustic cabinet which uh, encloses the sound because making braille produces a lot of noise, as you can hear. Oh my gosh. So this is now, so this is what you're listening to is the, is the Everest V5. And also, but it's inside a box. It, wow. It's much more convenient, the sound <laughs> yes. now. So that was the same as the first unit we saw, but it's yeah. inside of a giant uh, sound isolation booth. Yeah, for sure. And I can press pause on this, and then you see it. So this is actually, stuck. the paper goes down and through, and this bar here is actually the embossing head. So inside this, all the dots are being produced. And then the paper falls, goes underneath and falls down like this. 
So is it just little pins going in and out? It's small hammers. It's oh. 13 small hammers producing the dots. Okay, because you got to really smack it to make that, yeah, that, you have that to. thing sit. Yeah. Okay. But the big, one of the advantages with that technique is that you can print on, on re really thick paper. Okay. We can, yeah, you can say that if, if the paper is really, really thick, like for instance my business cards, then you can do multiple impacts on each dot. Oh, so wow. in order to really penetrate, to make a perfect shape dot, you can make one, two, three, four, or five, even up to five uh, dashes on, on the same spot. I got, I got to get Braille business cards. I can't believe I don't have Braille no, on my cards yet. I you really do. Yeah, you should. And now you've got one more box behind us. Yeah, this is the biggest one. This is also for continuous paper. And so this now, is now we're like a small uh, or a, a large cooler. Yeah, it is. And it's actually the same technique as you saw in the others. The same embossing head. But okay. this, this one's got three of them. With, with pickup rollers in between, so you feed in the paper in these tractors and the paper will be fed through all this printing mechanism and goes down and falls out so you can pick it, pick the document out here. Okay. So, so you actually put a whole box of paper here if you want to. So this is fanfold, what, what's the, the old terminology for this? Like, um, uh, well, the original computer paper was like this. Yeah, 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 for sure. fold with the little holes, yeah, in, the holes in the sides. Yeah. yeah, I'm missing the name. Like green bar reports were yeah. printed on yeah. that, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Same and now, what's, same the, what's the use case for this uh, giant one? Yeah, yeah. It's the same as the Braille box. It's large-scale production okay. of, of, yeah, of Braille. So it, uh, now, it's up to you which paper you prefer. If you okay. like to use the, the continuous paper, then this is the one for you if you got large-scale production. If you like the, the cut paper, the sheet, the Braille box is perfect for the large-scale production. I got you. I don't know. I think, I, I think I'm more of a, a V5 uh, Everest D person yeah, myself. Yeah, me that, too, that's, actually. That's, that's I think this is, cute one. this is the best. <laughs> actually, the best one that we got. Who do you sell to? We sell mostly to. We got a worldwide dealer uh, network. Mm -hmm. So we're based in the northern part of Sweden, but we sell all our products throughout the whole world through dealers. So basically it goes to, the most of the equipment is sold to schools and universities and so on, which produces, for instance, uh, school books and so on. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, great. But even great. private persons have the, the, sm the smaller ones. Really? You can, yeah, for home use and Do so on. Do I dare ask how much one of these costs? Yeah, it's a, a, the, if you're looking at the Everest, it's something like 4,000, Six, seven, eight hundred, between four and a half and five thousand dollars. That's actually a lot less than I thought it was. Yeah, you, yeah. you know, you sticker shock when you're yeah. talking accessibility <laughs> tools. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, but for for the exact prices, you have to contact the dealers. Okay. The local dealers. Yeah. So again, the company is Index Braille. If people wanted to see this, where would they go? They would go. Actually, here, uh, to, to if, if they are available. I mean the, no, I mean on the web. On the web, the, indexbraille.com. Indexbraille.com. Yeah, they find all our equipment there and I'll meet all the stuff and so on. Great. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you. Thank you.